This program is provided by Meijo University. The first part is about Meijo Exchange Program in English. The second part is a movie introducing Meijo University. Hi everyone at University of Augsburg. My name is Hirata and I'm a staff in charge of international exchange programs. Today as the first part, I'd like to introduce our exchange program in English. This program is designed to welcome exchange students who don't have much experiences learning Japanese, but would like to learn about Japan and its culture in English. We have many reasons for you to select our program. Let me talk about some of them. Meijo University is a leading private university in central Japan. We have 10 faculties and nine graduate schools. The number of students is above 15,000. We have more than 100 universities and institutions around the world with agreements, including your university. Now let's look at the campuses. Left top Tempa campus, the largest and main campus with six faculties, including science and technology. Left middle one is Yagoto campus, which is only for the faculty of pharmacy in 50 minute walking distance from here at Tempaku. Left below is Nagoya Dongmai campus, a home for comprehensive humanities field. Right side, a farm in Kasugai called the Faculty of Agriculture. A variety of crops are grown on this 15, 13 hectare site. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about a city called Nagoya. We are in the middle of our mainland called Honshu. As you can see, it is located in a very convenient spot. It only takes 1.5 hours to get to Tokyo and one hour to Osaka. We are the fourth largest city in terms of population. A little bit more about our program. In order to support international students who have come to Japan to study, we are providing international student supporting system called Student Assistant. Three photos are examples of how student assistant can support you. We also support students' daily lives by providing an international student dormitory. They are all single rooms with bathrooms. We as university also subsidize a half of rent for every exchange student. We also award scholarship for exchange students. This makes your rent zero yen. From 50,000 yen rent, we subsidize 25,000 yen and award a scholarship worth of 25,000 yen. Electricity bills, water charges, and Wi-Fi fees will be your monthly expenses. We offer a special part-time job to be a communication partner using English at the Global Plaza. We will pay 1,000 yen per hour for every hour you work. This means a lot to our major students as well, since it provides opportunities for our major students who wish to practice using English. Lastly, I would like to elaborate about the subject we offer this, with this program. Basically, we have three different types of subjects. Group one is Japanese language classes. Group two is international Japanese studies classes taught in English. Group three is academic classes assisted in English. Our Japanese language classes are provided in many different levels from below N5 to N1. This enables us to accommodate different levels of language proficiencies of exchange students. 
We usually provide two classes per week for 15 weeks. Most of exchange students take three or four courses per semester. International Japanese studies classes are taught entirely in English. These classes would give you deep insight to your knowledge and understanding about this country and its history and culture. For international Japanese studies, we are lucky to have Dr. Suzumura with us. He is the program coordinator to design curriculums, especially for international students who has an interest in studying Japan and its culture. He is a specialist for the cross-cultural communication. We also have some subjects you can learn with major students. All subjects mentioned on this list are taught in the Faculty of Foreign Studies. Although they're not entirely taught in English, they all are assisted in English. Unlike Japanese language classes, these subjects are taught once a week for 15 weeks. This is a sample schedule for intermediate level students for fall semester. Yellow are four Japanese language classes. Blue are four different international Japanese studies classes. And green is one academy class. With this timetable schedule, you would earn 18 credits in a semester. That is all from me. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope to see you at Major University. The second part will begin shortly. Enjoy a movie about our university. Hey, good morning. Isn't it nice to be traveling through downtown this early in the morning? Look at all these skyscrapers. We're in Nagoya right now, one of Japan's largest cities. My name is Max Praver, and I'm a teacher at Meijo University. Nagoya is the central city of Aichi Prefecture and is located right in the middle of Japan. The city blends the latest advanced technology with ancient Japanese tradition. Have you ever heard of the feudal lords Nobunaga Oda, Hideyoshi Toyotomi, or Ieyasu Tokugawa? They united Japan in the 1500s, a period plagued by constant battles between opposing military leaders. Nagoya is famous for producing these three military commanders who had a huge impact on Japan's history. From very long ago, the region has been a transportation hub where industry and culture have flourished. In the Edo period, many craftsmen were gathered here to build Nagoya Castle. From that point forward, many different manufacturing industries were developed. Elaborate wooden mechanical robots called karakuri ningyo were produced in Aichi Prefecture. The superior skills and the spirit of craftsmanship laid the foundation for the development of the textile industry, which in turn evolved into Japan's world-leading industries such as the automotive, precision equipment, aerospace, and robotics industry. Meijo University is the largest private university in Nagoya, the city known as the manufacturing capital of Japan. Meijo University has 10 faculties, 25 departments, and 9 graduate courses. It is the area's largest private university, integrating the arts and sciences. The university's main campus is the Tempaku campus. The symbol of this campus is Tower 75, which is known as a landmark of academia in Nagoya. 
Yagoto Campus pursues ideal education in pharmaceutical sciences by utilizing more than 50 years of tradition and achievement. Established in 2016, Nagoya Dome Mai Campus provides open learning opportunities to the community and the world. These three unique campuses provide state-of-the-art education and research facilities which support the learning of more than 15,000 students. The founding spirit of Meijo University is to foster individuals who can become richly endowed with moderation and fairness, as well as have the ability to get things done while earning the trust of the nation and society. The university's mission is to foster people who see the essential nature of these things with humility, understand moderation, have a broad perspective and sense of equilibrium, are trusted by all, and have the ability to get things done. I was born in Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. And it was through practicing Aikido at a very young age that I first became interested in Japanese culture, as well as Japanese language. In fact, I was lucky enough as a university student to be able to come to Japan and study for an entire year. When I first arrived, my first impression of Japanese people were that they were hardworking and they had a passion to take on new challenges. Now, after having spent half my life and having taught here for many, many years, I can honestly tell you that my first impressions haven't changed. Here at Meijo University, not only the students, but the teachers, they share this desire and passion for learning. It has been said that all great knowledge starts with small steps of learning. I am sure that this will remain true in the future. When he was a university student, Professor Isamu Akasaki's journey began from the inspiration he felt upon hearing that a Japanese person had won the Nobel Prize for the first time. He became resolved to accomplish something that had never been done before, no matter how small. Ultimately, Professor Akasaki's determination led to the invention of blue light emitting diodes or LEDs. In recognition of this invention, Professor Akasaki was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2014. Professor Akira Yoshino became interested in science in elementary school when he read The Chemical History of a Candle by the British scientist Faraday. He went on to discover the lithium-ion battery, which became a driving force behind the spread of mobile electronic devices. Professor Yoshino was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2019. Professor Sumio Ijima discovered carbon nanotubes, which are sometimes referred to as a dream material. In recognition of his discovery, he received the 2015 European Inventor Award. Looking back, Professor Ijima describes his discovery as a blessing of serendipity. The potential of carbon nanotubes is further exemplified by the many academic papers written by Ijima and how they are some of the most frequently quoted papers in the world. At Meijo University, researchers are active on the forefront of international research and continuously challenge the possibilities of new learning. Meijo University is implementing new projects and new initiatives to greatly expand the possibilities of learning for both its faculty and its students. One such project is the MS26 vision for cultivating lifelong learners. This project has been in anticipation for the year 2026 when Meijo University will celebrate its
its 100th anniversary. Even after students have graduated or completed their studies, it is our hope that they will continue to enjoy and engage in lifelong learning. With this in mind, Meijo University is providing support for these kinds of initiatives. Two examples are the learning community and the Enjoy Learning projects. Through partnerships with the local communities, corporations, and other universities, these initiatives have given birth to a series of new projects that go beyond the framework of Meijo University. Here at Meijo University, I've discovered even more learning possibilities. Also, by continuing to teach and to learn, I've been able to see firsthand the way the world continues to change. I believe that the mission of a university is to pursue the highest levels of learning. Meijo University is a place that enables continuous lifelong learning. <laughs>